What is going on everybody and welcome to Stylish Grease Monkey. My name is Chris. I hope you're doing well. Today is another episode update on what I've done with the Bronco right here, the 1971 Bronco project. I'm not going to show you how I do it. I'm just going to show you what I've done, you know, before and after uh, I've done the panels and things like that. Hey, I am not, uh, I'm not claiming that I'm a master builder, but I can tell you that I have skills to be dangerous enough to get things like this done and get it back on the road because I've done it before many times and I'm doing it again. So this is a 1971 Ford Bronco. Like I said before in my past videos, it sat here in this driveway for over 10 years and the rust just really ate up the body panels, ate up the floorboards and things like that. So I am finding everything in my arsenal uh, considering what I need to do as far as uh, balance the cost to make sure that I don't put all my savings into this thing and also um, ignite my creativity when it comes to building body panels for something this old and doing it right. So far I started on the left side of this Bronco as you can tell I took off the front grill and the, um, the uh, fenders here the front grille is uh, original steel. The grille is uh, made out of fiberglass, which is in great shape, uh, and I'm going to keep that. Um, the grille guards and the cage that hold the front, uh, gr the front part of the Bronco here is in solid shape, so I'm going to leave that. I'm just going to do maybe a spot cleaning of the rust and clean it off and, and then treat it to make sure the rust don't come back. Um, look, moving a little bit forward down here, as you can see right here, I created the panel right there, the rocking panel, uh, the rockers for this Bronco because the, ro the original rockers were crushed in a, uh, a four-wheeling uh, adventure climbing over rocks and it just crushed both sides. So the other side is still damaged. I'm going to show you the before of that. But this right here, it, I created that. So is the corner panels right there on the Bronco. And uh, I think it did a great job, pretty straight. I'm trying to target very minimal Bondo when I put this back thing together. You can't avoid Bondo, but the key thing is I've learned all throughout the years is to make sure that I am getting the rust out and then creating the panels for it, a right replacement so that the rust don't come back, right? Uh, there are many ways to fix something like this. Some people do like fiberglass with Bondo or screens with Bondo. I am not like that. I like to cut my panels, create them uh, with my tools and then put it back in there as original as possible. So you probably saw on my other uh, shot that the other side, the panel is in good shape here. I had to cut it out because this piece right here is separate from the bottom piece and then another separate piece in the inside uh, water pulled in here and destroyed this seal uh, and now uh, it was rusty I had to remove all the rust out and then put another piece underneath here for now uh, I am currently working on getting this piece back here and let me show you this is the rusted out panel that I removed here um, this has an angle, of course, all gone from the rust, but I'm going to create some like this with right angles. And put it back right here. That's how it's going to work. How do you make flimsy material solid uh, by uh, beating it or you use a brake like this to create corners and it becomes sturdy?
All right, everybody, panel's in. I'm gonna go do a quick pan on it. Please don't judge anything on it. That's just all I ask, right? This is the way I do things. It will get done. It will look exactly like it was afterwards. Uh, stock, or well, not stock. The reason why there's a big opening is because I have a um, fender flares in there for the bigger tires eventually. I'm gonna put it back just like that. So. Um, I am not exactly putting it on a stock uh, uh, condition. Uh, this is a 4x4, this is a cruiser, a driver, and thus, uh, you know, I do things that way, uh, but not half-ass, of course. As you can see, it's in there really good, it's nice, uh, it took shape. Now, uh, Bondo. Bondo, again, I talked about, I tried not to use too much Bondo, but you cannot avoid not using bondo because there are areas in which there are highs and lows things need to be even if you want to make it look decent then you need to use a little bit of a bondo but the goal is to put metal in here to make sure that you use the least amount of bondo there's still a lot of work that needs to be done but today i'm going to call it quits because i ran out of uh, gas for my welder uh, i'm going to go get some gas that's all i have for you for today Hope you're enjoying this video, episode two, follow up, aloha. Yeah.